Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Once again, um, I am here doing a video review for you, for many of you out there that um, are wondering how DTF holds up. And I want to share with you a few things that, that make a lot of sense. So while I'm making this video, give me a few minutes just to share this over here. Print Squad, we'll go to Sublimation Unchained. The printing community, direct to film printing. Um, we will do white toner support group because that's the type of media that I printed this in. Okay, so what we're going to do now is watch a video. I just came back from the laundry. Um, normally we do our laundry here inside because we have our own washer and dryer but my dryer doesn't get as hot as it gets downstairs. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. We just came back, here's the clothes right here. We're gonna take a look at DTF versus white toner, okay? Stand by. So I'm just gonna come right over here and hit play for you all. Okay guys, just to show you that this is live, we're down here with one minute to go, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Hold on, let's go. That's the wrong one, so let me back out and go. I guess it's going to be the middle one. Maybe uh, it could be, yep, stand by. I'm just going to pull this right over and start here. Okay, and I think that this is going to be it. Yep, is that the dryer or the washer? Uh, that's the dryer, so let's just down screen that one really quick. And maybe it's this one. Heck, I don't know. They all look the same to me, right? So let me see here. Okay, that's a little strange because we should be looking at the first one that I put in. That's the last one there, so we can go ahead and minimize that screen right here we're going to minimize that right there and come over here and maybe it's this one here and it just kind of went in that weird order so let me go ahead and open this file up right here maybe i want to open this with uh vlc and maybe it'll come over on this one but it'll probably shoot to the other monitor okay guys just to show you that this is live we're down here with one okay hold on just a second let me do Everybody. Let's go ahead and start right here. This is actually the washer. Is that correct? Let me go ahead and look back here. That would not be the one that I want. It's so odd because I sent this over to my iPad and um, didn't go where I wanted it to go. And it seems like uh, the video is looping inside of the same freaking file. Okay, so maybe it's this one here. It's over here, all right. Let's take a look at this and let me brighten up my mat because I usually turn that down for photo printing. Thanks for being patient, everybody. We have a lot of load. And two, I wanted to show, let's see if that's it here. Show you that we're live. Okay. Whoops. I'm sorry, everybody, I'm gonna figure this out. I don't know why it's Apparently it was this one, I'm sorry. I will just for sure let it play. <laughs> My mouse is moving really weird. Okay, it's this one right here. Thanks everybody. Um, all right. Okay guys, just to show you that this is live, we're down here with one minute to go, so I'm just gonna go ahead and kill it right now. And then um, show you that we're live, and let's go ahead and pull these shirts out we want to see this DTF shirt all right and what I want to do is um, I am really having trouble I sent it over from my iPad this is so that's it right here this is us throwing it in the washer and then we're gonna take it out of the dryer I'm sorry that was so hard to find I thought that I sent it over to myself but um, it just didn't go through so it's this one over here now we just brought these out of the washer. We put them in the washer right here. Okay, everybody, we're gonna take a look at the first wash of this product. They say not to uh, 
wash your clothes for 24 hours. Now remember, I just pressed this earlier, okay? After you print it, and so we're gonna take a look at the DTF. It's all the way at the bottom. And if it made it through the print, and of course it will because it's DTF, but hold that right there. I'll just take a look at it here. Now normally we wash inside in our own washer and dryer, but our dryer doesn't get as hot as it does downstairs. This is the Oki shirt, and you can already see that the select media is breaking down. Uh, that's after about 15 washes, maybe. Uh, that's the oldest one we printed. So the first one we printed, and I'll go back on my wall and show you that um, when we printed it. Yeah, I can already tell this is the shirt here. Okay, so hold on. And that's with heavy fabric softener still on it. And golly, that's just so freaking bright. Okay, everybody, we'll come right back here in a moment. All right, so that's the wash with fabric softener. And you're told with white toner printing, don't use fabric softener because it'll break away the shirt, break it apart on the first wash. And as you know, it's done that multiple times if you've been in this industry. So what we're gonna do now is open this video here. Um, hold on, this is the one that I wanna look at. I think it's this one here. And I pull it out of the dryer. I just gotta find my mouse. I probably need new batteries. Right, there we go. Okay guys, just to show you that this is live, we're down here with one minute to go, so I'm just gonna go ahead and kill it right now. And then, um, show you that we're live and let's go ahead and pull these shirts out we want to see this dtf shirt versus um and we have our own washer and dryer upstairs and the reason that i chose this one um one is we had a lot of load and two i wanted to show you heavy usage on um the I think this one is the other. It's hey, the, Kelly, in just a second, come hold the phone or the device. That's Kelly's shirt. I wanted to show you the usage of a dryer. So we're just going to pull these out here. And I'm telling you, this is really hot. I put this through the most severe treatment that we could do, um, which, you know, the intent was to burn the shirt. Come here real right quick. There. So we'll take a look at it in a moment. And then we'll... Uh, just hold right there for a minute. Come right back upstairs. Remember the speaker's right there. And then I'll do a live. So let's go ahead and get this out of here. I do not believe there are any more white toner shirts um, or any more DTF printed shirts. So we're gonna take a look at this really quick and see how this looks. So that's definitely that shirt. Um, that's DTF right here. This is Oki Laser Transfer. Oops, sorry, that is um, not Oki Laser Transfer. It's this one right here, I think. No, nope, that's my son's shirt. Man, where did that go? I don't think it was put in that one. So let me just throw all this back in there real quick. I can get there and find the black shirt. It might be this one here. This is a Bella canvas, so that's that shirt. Just gonna fast forward a second because uh, here we go. All right, Destroy so there. Destroy the shirt. There's the two shirts right there. So I'll take a look at here. And then this video is the shirt or the two shirts we're gonna look at. All right, so you see those there, everybody. Turn the flash on really quick, Kelly, right there. And then we're gonna look down at these shirts. Let's go ahead and look down there. Everybody, this is DTF, the revolutionary print method that is available in the market. Now, everybody, let me just make this really clear. You just do not have to worry about wash instructions. You don't have to worry about turning a shirt inside out. You don't have to worry about rasterization. 
You don't have to worry about a color knockout. I knock nothing out on this, okay? The reason that you don't have to worry about this, and I've been in this industry since 2016. I've tried every method of printing that you can imagine, including direct-to-garment printing. I have never seen anything like this just yet. Now, one dryer use of, and this is the first time I've ever dried this shirt, sorry, second, I dried it live on Facebook a while back. I'm gonna have to put this shirt under the Magic Touch T-Seal to heal it again. So let's take a look at this. This is the white toner shirt. And you can just see that it, you know, it, it is what it is, right? It's, it was all that's available to us. This is a blackout of the uh, product here. Um, could you wear it? Yeah, I mean, I, my wife and I would wear it. You know, I just, it, it is what it is. It's like an old shirt. I see people walking around all the time with shirts that are um, just really detailed and old and cracked. But, um, you know, another thing that I recall about this when I printed this is that the laser printers cannot reproduce the photo prints because one, I don't think that there's an ICC profile that matches the quality of print. And then two, now let's come over here and look at the heavy dryer usage out of DTF. DTF is Nike certified. It holds the highest certification of wash and dry and usage in the industry. When we tell you that DTF is the way of the future, we certainly mean that it's the wave of the future. Um, the print is still just like what I printed it. And if I try to take and split that shirt, you know, this reminds me of the softest. And let me just see if I can, my wife left. So I'm gonna try to just prop the phone up right there if I can, I don't know if I can. So let me see if I can just hold a drink like that. Yeah, I'm just having trouble holding that because it's such a large iPad, just right there. So what I wanna show you guys is that um, you take the garment, right? And this is after a heavy dry. This is the best print in the industry, bar freaking none. I've never, ever in my life encountered a product like this. And I'm not just trying to hard sell you guys. I am living it. Look, that thing is in the fabric and it just, it's not going anywhere. Um, it's a beautiful print. It's a lovely print and for those of you that have a white toner printer, I can print this with screen printed white DTF um, screen print and, and the DTF powder behind this, but I would need a lot of orders. And what I can tell you about this, I got it here now. What I can tell you about this as a professional printer and especially for high detailed um, photographic images is that because I'm using a an inkjet, inkjet um, water-based textile print, I'm able to zoom in my, um, or lock in my ICC profile so correctly to where I've never been able to lock the profiles down. Um, you know, there's blues and shades of blue in here that are just not really correct. You come over here and they're absolutely correct. So this is white toner. And what I'll do is we'll see the day that I printed this. So let's come over here to my Facebook really quick. Let me turn this flash off. I do not sell samples, Yolati. You may buy your logo on an A3 sheet. You may gang up the A3 sheet and I will sell them to you um, as transfers, but I you know, don't give away samples. Nobody gave me samples when I started. You know, They made me spend thousands of dollars risk having ten thousand dollars locked up in customs which i have right now but i'm okay with that so let me just go to here let's go to um white i'm typing one-handed so white toner select and let's do my name that way I can give you a day that I printed this because I don't recall the the day that I printed this. Whoops, I didn't realize I had my messages up. I'm sorry. Some people got some free advertising there. Let's go ahead and maybe it's here. No, we're definitely gonna find it. 
might be right here that I printed that, some in the white toner group. Uh, let's see, there I am printing a, here we go. So this is the day I printed it right here. I printed that March 22nd, we can see the image, okay? So March to October, this is what the shirt looks like, March to October. Yolati, you can get one of these from me. Um, I have an office full of these printers, an office back there. I modify the big printers, buy them from all over the nation and modify them right here in the office. Um, so from March 22nd until today, this is what we're dealing with. So basically what I would do to save this shirt now, if it's my own business shirt because I'm all about recycling, is I take and I print now um, a nine and a half inch select media white toner image over this one. And then it creates a brand new image and I start over again. This right here, DTF, you can just see the product is embedded into the fabric. It's not going anywhere. It's true to its nature. It's, um, as I said earlier, it's Nike certified. It's certified um, for the longest and strongest durability of washing. Um, it, it's what Supacolor uses. If you know who Supacolor is, then you know that Supacolor, they sell you know the highest quality transfers that there are in the market. And I do have a Supacolor shirt somewhere, so stay right there and I'll get a Supacolor shirt out and show you. Now this is where I always go searching for the shirt, so hold on a minute. Well, I've done a lot of videos. It's always one of the shirts that I can't find. And um, even though I got a lot of work to do tonight. Oh my God. Let's see if it's one of these. Probably will not be. Anyways, I do not know where it's at because I have printed so many times and shown people demonstrations of this product, but um, yeah, so you know, you can look it up. You can see all the reviews on Supacolor. People like uh, Reyes the Entrepreneur and Stan Banks, they're, they're all praising Supacolor in these companies. But you know, none of them are taking the step to go do this on their own like I am. Do, you know, in order to do this with ink and different printers, I spent, over, well, my wife spent over $10,000. Man, everybody in the industry thought that I was effing crazy. You know, when I talk to people and, um, you know, especially paper sellers and they'd be like, Ernest, man, you're just, you're in another fad. No, I'm not in another fad. I know what's going on. I screen print this and we've now found the ability to direct to transfer film this. So when I screen print this, you know, if you guys are interested and you want to screen print DTF, okay, um, this is something that if I, you know, if I have a, a one-off, you know, then yeah, I can oak, oaky laser white toner print a one-off. And then I just have to tell my customer, look, I knock the colors out. Big deal, right? Um, I rasterized the shirt or I created lines through it or little dots. And your customers, some of them don't care, others do care. And um, if it's an instance where I've got to print 50 transfers, to be quite honest, that's a lot of work on an Oki laser toner printer because you've got to press it for 120 seconds just to marry it. You've got to flatten the fibers on your shirt for 10 seconds, you know, so there you're at 130 seconds. You got to come back with a T-seal after you print it and that's another one minute. So right there, you're at two minutes and 45 seconds, give or take, just to do one shirt. Try doing 50 shirts of that and you'll lose your freaking mind. With this, you don't have to pre-press. It's kind of like screen printing, you know? You don't have to knock down the, uh, 
you don't have to knock down the fibers of the shirt. You know, you just simply um, go to screen printing. Well, with this right here, bam, you think I would be crazy enough to do that, right? With an Oki toner after it just came out of the freaking dryer? No freaking way, man. You do that on a white toner shirt after it just came out of the dryer, you're doing some damage. Do you see that damage already? If I keep pulling any further, this shirt is gonna be a goner. The only thing that I can do to repair this shirt, if you're white toner printing, is to use a Magic Touch T-Seal pad. Some customers, when I was white toner printing, I, they, I, I would say, bring your shirts back to me um, in two and a half months and I'll seal your shirt. It's not gonna look brand new, but it'll you know heal all that cracking up just a little. Nowadays, you don't have to do that. DTF, it's the way to go, literally. You can have the best in the industry or you can settle for lower quality printing. Um, this is it, everybody. This is how Supercolor does it. And we've come up with a way now that allows us to print this right in a printer to do one off. So Supercolor, I just shut you down because I can handle five to 600 prints a day, right? I'm sitting around here, everybody, with five inkjet printers ready to go with 17 at my bay and five, um, five currently in use. I'm going to modify my 24 inch printer tomorrow, which is gonna cause me to haul ass in printing. Uh, my name's Brother Ernest. I print the best transfers in the world, bar none. The reason you're looking at this backwards is because I'm using the front camera and not the rear camera. So, based on that, everybody, this is the highest quality of print in the United States of America. It prints on everything in fabric. It prints on cotton, polyester, hemp. It prints on rayon. It prints on... Uh, what is it called? Um, hosiery. It prints on hoodies and it prints on your face masks that are those cotton type face masks, you know, the um, beanie caps. You know, you can't get white toner to seal to a beanie cap, but you can get this product to seal to a beanie cap. This is the wave of the future, people. This is how you give your customer the highest quality of print. Now, do I tell my customer, hey, you know, Mr. Screen Printer down the road, or I screen print, I'm earnest, I screen print. You guys have seen me do it right here. I screen printed this right here, screen printed, I don't know, 20 of those just a few nights ago. Um, I tell my customer, this is the highest quality print in the industry. If you want photographic prints just like this to match a photo just like this, with a calibrated monitor and a calibrated printer, if you want your prints to match this right here, you don't print that on a laser toner. You're not going to be able to do it. And it's not possible, right, to get the calibration of the photo. However, um, the second method that I would use to do that, um, because I'm never gonna, you know, direct-to-garment printing is just you've got to be out of your damn mind if you're still direct-to-garment printing after today and the reason being is direct-to-garment printing is like having an angry wife at all times you know nothing you can do can please that wife that's the direct-to-garment printers life they wake up they've got to pre-treat that thing they've got to maintenance that printer Man, they've got to worry about the capping station. They've got to worry about cleaning the bottom of the printhead. They've got to worry about ink management system. Man, it's like having alimony in advance. Nobody wants that. Man, I just want to turn on my printer, run a simple cleaning. If I have to do it, just like I do my inkjet printers, bam, I'm done. I'm ready to print. And this is what you get, people. You tell me. What's a closer match? Look at that. Look at the sky, everybody. Hello. I print for photographers, and there's no photographer that's going to come to me and tell me, gee, Ernest, your monitor is not calibrated. Gee, Ernest, my colors don't match. Gee, Ernest, you know, 
I charged my customer who I printed or shot their wedding photography photos for, I charged them $500. They don't come to me and say, man, your prints don't look like the day they took the photo. They tell me, man, that is exactly what I saw in my camera, right? This is exact, I took this photo on the Boston Harbor. I'll show you my camera right down here that I took it with. For those of you who are photographers, right, because that's what I do. I have an avid love for photography. For those of you that are photographers, you're gonna look at this camera and say, holy shit, man, this guy's all about digitally fo taking photos, right? Um, this is one of the best cameras in the world, a Nikon P900. You're not going to match the quality of it. We have a Nikon P1000 as well. And let me tell you something. There is no way in hell that me as a photographer um, would go to some people out there who are having trouble. My colors don't match my monitor. You know, you hear it all the time because when you step into those sublimation printers, and you step into like the Epson F570 or the Epson 6730, you were stepping into photographic printers, right? Some of you are using your sublimation printers just to print on shirts, and that's the least thing that sublimation does. Shirts should be the last thing that you're doing with your sublimation printer. You should be printing photos. You should be printing panels on uh, metal and you know, chromalux and tiles, that's what that printer is made for. Leave your t-shirt printing to the DTF. So if I have a if I have a photographer, they're gonna come to me and say, man, that is exactly what that photo is that I took. That's the same photo. The colors match, the skies match, the uh, the sea matches, the lines in the and uh, the the bay. Right here you see the color in the bay, they match. But you know what? You're not going to find that on most laser printers. You're not going to find that capability um, on most DTG printers because it just can't do it. It can't print that kind of quality um, because of the way that the ink is laid down on top of each other. And then you have, you know, um, defibrillation. You have fibers that are coming up. And, and so, you know, the problem is, is that it's just not calibrated to print like that. But now you can using DTF. You can print with the highest quality standards of printing that there are with, with the right ICC profiles that I provide you. I guarantee you. I guarantee you can do it or else I wouldn't be putting my name um, on the line. And I'm not a guy that has a big, huge office. I'm not a guy that's, you know, selling 20 or 30 different types of, you know, papers or I don't make it, uh, money on that. I simply make money on photographic printing. That's what I love to do. I'm a photographic printer. I love to print my photos on t-shirts. I always have. Um, and I love to print beautiful things that people look at. And I guarantee you, when you wear this shirt right here and you walk down the road and it has passed the washer and the dryer, I mean, wow, man, that is just phenomenal. Just like the day I took it. I'm a photographer. I just tell you I love it. You want your wedding uh, photos taken, you know, I'll come out and do it, or my friend Pablo will, and, um, you know, I'll print those for you, so look, I print the best transfers in America, I literally print the best transfers in America, and I'm going to work on some of the best printers that you've seen, um, printers, you know, that are 24-inch printers that are going to give you the availability to print beautiful, beautiful canvas gallery wrap 16 by 20s this is where it's at people this is the wave of the future you're not going to be marrying and struggling you're not going to have to knock your colors out and hey if that's all that's available to you master it master it so that you can sell your transfers and make money master it so that you provide the best of the print industry within your ability i started with one printer okay i started with one printer right back there the oki white 84 32 and today i have over 30 active printers think about that people i love to print i'm a digital printer i love to print dtg cannot match this dtg you're dead it's over people do not 
buy a DTG printer. I'm telling you, man, I've been down that road and um, I know people every day that buy Epson 2100s and um, F2100s and I know people that buy DTG M2s that call me up and they're like, Ernest, oh my God, I'm having this problem. Yeah, because you didn't sign a prenup. What you should have done instead of buying a DTG printer is said, hey Ernest, I need a DTF printer, man. Can you help me out? Yeah, man, what size do you want? You want a 13-inch DTF printer? I got you covered. You want a 24-inch DTF printer? I got you covered. You want a 17-inch DTF printer? I've got you covered. You want an 8.5 by 11 DTG or DTF printer? I've got you covered. Okay, that's all I've done. The whole industry has laughed their asses off at me, man, and mocked me because I only want to build my printing business in my living room. I don't want to go out there. I like it right in here where I can print, you know? This is the best print in the industry I have ever seen, hands down. And I'll show you one other thing because I have a hoodie. So this hoodie has brought me joy, okay? This is printed under select media from UniNet. Um, it is probably the closest that we're going to get, but what happened is the first transfer I printed with this was Magic Touch um, about a year and a half ago, okay? The Magic Touch paper began to crack and peel just like they all do. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna print select media over the Magic Touch print. It's my own personal hoodie. And um, I only hand wash this hoodie because I don't want the print to deteriorate. <laughs> but if the print deteriorated, I would print another select media transfer and go right over it. So let's take a look at this. And I'm gonna show you the colors are off. The colors are off in this. They're really off. There's nothing I can do to you know, get the tints of red out of there. So I want to show you. This is a laser printer. And you know, a laser printer just cannot match the quality of an inkjet printer. So there's some breakdown of this, you know, after a long life of printing. You can see some breakdown here. This is Select Media. In my opinion, Select Media is probably the highest quality of transfer, and it only goes upward. But it's still no comparison to DTF. It's not possible. So you look at this, the colors are wrong. There was never that much red in the photo, right? There was never that much red in the lights. It just doesn't look natural, but it's the closest thing that I had. And I always knew that, you know, the chain links were wrong, you know, because it's really grayed out. But um, using iColor Pro Rip, there's no really profile to match this, okay? You can't because it's not an inkjet printer. You look at this print right here. This looks more realistic. There's no red, right? There's no red in the light here as there is all through here. Now, a photographer would tell me, no, Ernest, that's not what I photographed that day. You've got too much red in that. And I would be like, wow, man, well, let me see the original photo. Ernest, I don't have an original photo. Then I'd have to put it up there on my monitor, see what they're looking at. This, because I built the profile into the printer, I now have absolutely no issues. This is a 100% photographic print right here that is profiled and properly printed because it's an inkjet printer. That's all I do is I print with inkjet printers. I love it. Look at the difference of the chain link fences. Can you see the difference? This one's really gray with a red hue in it. And this one really looks like a chain link fence, or sorry, a chain link on, on the harbor. Look at the color of the ocean, right? You have multiple colors in here and multiple gradients of light coming down. In here you don't, you have so much red that doesn't exist. All this red doesn't exist. That light's not red. That light is bright yellow. There you go, everybody.
See all the red over here? That shouldn't exist. There would be no reason to have this much red in your print. That's what, this is real. This is real to your eyeballs. Just like if you're out there at the harbor that night. Can I print faces? Can, oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely I can print faces, so. Um, I'm just gonna leave this here and say that if I didn't have a DTF printer, then I would certainly have a white toner printer because it's the next option um, that would allow me to print that's not direct to garment. Direct to garment, people, is dead. Today in the United States, I pronounce the death sentence on direct to garment. Anybody in their right mind would not direct a garment after they have DTF'd, okay? You saw me live on Facebook. I printed 500 shirts, two sides, direct a garment. It took me 30 hours to do it, and I did it live on Facebook. So um, I could print 500 shirts, two-sided, easy. Just throw off two printers, and off I'm going. Um, print, I, print, I printed this, and I think under two minutes, in two minutes, this was done printing. Think about that. That's so much faster than DTG. I don't have to pre-treat. You know, I don't have to worry about the type of garment. This will go on anything. So first choice, direct to fabric, DTF. Second choice, I would go with white toner. I would never get rid of my white toner anyways because if somebody said, hey, Ernest, I need 500 shirts like that printed, I got you covered. I'll print the CMYK on my Oki laser transfer and using my product that I um, have fused together. Um, I will direct to screen print the fabric. I'll direct to screen print the transfer. Just print the white and I'm done. Seal it with my powder. Off I go. No problem. That's why I won't get rid of the Oki. So if you bought an Oki laser printer, you bought this, or, or sorry, if you bought a, any white toner printer, you bought the second or the third best in the industry because the best in the industry is DTF printing and it's about to storm America and if you're not part of DTF I'm telling you your competition is gonna smoke you if I came up against your business with direct to garment versus DTF the customer would choose DTF printing any day of the week I'm telling you I would choose it I would look right at it and say man that's gonna last me the life of the garment I can dry that shirt in the dryer if my wife forgets and throws it in the dryer regular side out it's not going to harm it no man not at all this is a product that is certified by nike i could go to nike and tell nike i can print your transfers i can print your prints and any large company would buy from me as of today i am the best most qualified printer in the entire state of massachusetts and it's only grown because i have 24 inch roll printer at root in C. I have a 24 inch roll printer I'm about to convert any day of this week and if you want to get into DTF start with me I've been inkjet printing for a long time all right it's my specialty that's all I got to say man I'm excited I brought this to you before anybody in the United States of America with such detail on a desktop printer and I'm just going to keep growing this industry, growing this industry, and growing this industry, and try to do it right here in America, right? I don't like to buy from out of country, unless I'm buying from Denmark or the UK. Um, that's really special to me. I have my distributors um, that I purchase my screen printing products for from in Denmark and different parts of Germany. And the one thing I can tell you is those are the only two prints I'm going to focus on from now on, um, I found a product that I can finally say as a professional digital and a photographic printer that I stand behind and it's DTF printing. And I'm not here to sell anything to you, right? Because this is gonna happen whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not, DTF is about to explode in the country. If you don't believe me, everybody, and you're watching this, just buy a transfer from me, you'll see. Um, knock it out. I'll send, I'll knock it out of the park and I'll blow your mind once the print gets there. All right, everybody. So long. This is Brother Ernest with 
Boston one hour hoodies and tees doing a demonstration of white toner printing versus DTF printing, inkjet desktop film printing. So long, everybody.